YouTube, what is going on with you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We going live today. Today was a completely random day of filming again. Um, shout out to K-Series Parts. That's the first thing I'm gonna say right now. They're actually having a moving sale. So if you guys um, are watching this video and you're looking to get any kind of steering wheels, any kind of hubs, adapters, anything like that, head over to K-Series Parts. They're actually local to me. I'm here in Colorado, of course, but they're having a moving sale. So that means everything they have in there must go. They reached out to me and let me know that they're having sales on the hubs and steering wheels and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I actually do need one for the Z. I came downstairs in the garage and I just looked at the interior of the car. I still haven't took all my sound deadening and stuff out. You guys are gonna see that in the next video. But I just took a look and I was like, I do still have the stock stuff on there, huh? With the And I got a bride seat that sits there. I do need an upgrade. So I let them know, I was like, hey, when can I come down? They told me to just come down. They're open from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I was like, you know what? Let me run down there and see what they got. And uh, they just gave me a deal I couldn't, I couldn't resist. So I got an NRG um, short hub and I got a NRG steering wheel. Now, not the biggest fan of NRG. I don't hate the parts or the products or anything that they make. Um, they're good as a company. I just think it's just a little over played and I totally understand because they're making affordable things for pretty much everyone who wants to get into this kind of scene they're just they just have a bunch of production everything everyone has it and um, I want to be kind of on a different side and just build something that's unique and different from other cars um now however when I went to K-Series parts and looked at some of the energy stuff I just couldn't resist I was like okay you know what I was actually planning on getting a Sparco steering wheel and I was actually planning on getting Sparco seats, but things just never align up for some reason. I always find other deals on other stuff that I always wanted and I end up getting it. I think I made a good choice. I think I made a good choice. Let me go ahead and send you guys to the back to show you the parts that we got. And there is our parts. Um, surprisingly, the packaging that NRG makes is on point. This is gonna be our short hub that we're gonna be running on the 350Z. Just your standard NRG short hub, nothing really fancy about it. Just a big hunk of metal. Your steering wheel bolts into that part right there. And then of course your 19 millimeter bolt on the steering wheel will go into there. But I'll show you guys all that soon when uh, we start tearing things apart. Very good quality. Um, I have to give it to NRG. They have very good quality stuff. It's actually made really well. And actually inside of the box, you get a little bit more, which is awesome. Um, you get all of your wiring and little diagrams and stuff like that. Um, which is pretty awesome, so I'll take that any day. But um, we're actually not even gonna be running a horn. Maybe later down the road or something like that, we'll maybe run one, but as of right now, we are not in the moment you guys all been waiting for, the steering wheel. Sheesh. So the one that I opted for is the black suede with red stitching. Now, I wish they had, I kept asking them if they had a yellow stitching one, um, but um, they do not. Like I said, they're doing a sale, so people are buying these things for well under retail, um, which what I got mine under. I got mine well, well under retail, and a lot of them were sold already, but they still have a lot in stock, so head over there and get one. We just went ahead and opted for something not too crazy. They had a whole bunch of different colored wheels and everything like that, and I wasn't really a huge fan of all the colors, so I kept it standard and got the black wheel with the red stitching. I think that's gonna look really good with the bride seat that we got, which is actually right here. So as you see, like you have the bride sign and you have the low max sign right there in, in red. And I think that's just gonna go really good. Actually here, let me give you some more light so you can see this. All right, I had to brighten it up a little bit for y'all, but look how good that looks. Sheesh, that is hard. I gotta do a little bit of cleaning on the seat, but damn, that that's gonna go really well with it. Now, there are some other things they include into the box, which actually here, let me put this off to the side here real quick, stay. Do not drop. So this is kind of the packaging that it's gonna come in. And then if you lift up this foam piece here, which I almost threw it all away, so I'm glad I didn't. Under that foam, there's other stuff inside of there. So you have your horn button in there, which I'm not gonna be running the horn and honestly putting this in the middle of my wheel, I just really do not like as much just because um, really cheap plastic, I'd rather like a nice metal one like from Japan or something that says like, I don't know, like says Z or some, something or on it. But down here you have your horn kind of adapter bracket, which I definitely do not like on the, on the wheel. So your horn button will actually go in the center there. And then this little uh, bracket goes over it like that. 
So, um, and then it, the steering wheel kind of has this bulky kind of like spacer to it, which I don't think is a good look for a steering wheel. I honestly think it looks kind of cheap. So um, honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. We are not gonna use that at all. But um, kudos out to uh, NRG though for thinking that like they make some quality stuff like this metal, like you could tell it's uh, aluminum, like the stuff they make it out of is pretty high quality. You could tell it's not gonna break really easy. And then of course they give you a bunch of bolts and stuff for the actual steering wheel itself which is pretty awesome. They give you a couple stickers. You got a K-Series one where I got the parts from, and then they give you an NRG sticker, which I think is dope. It's kind of like made out of like a metal material, which that's pretty dope, not gonna lie. But with that being said, y'all, I say let's go ahead and get this thing in the car. I'm gonna take you guys through the how-to of, of how to change your steering wheel in your 2003 350Z all the way up to, who knows, that thing probably goes all the way up to the 370Zs, it's probably the same way, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's get this thing changed. Give you guys kind of like a rough sneak peek of what the interior is gonna kind of look like. So of course I got the bride seat looking fuego, and then we still got the stock wheel up there. I feel like this is gonna look really good. Still gotta get all that sound deadening out. I still gotta paint the whole interior gloss black, and then we gotta get the cage in here. Just imagine that already with the cage already in there. That thing is gonna look fresh. Now, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can see it. Um, just a full black cage in there, full black interior, um, all the sound deadening's out, everything's just super clean. And then with that wheel that's gonna go up there, I think that's gonna look fresh. So I say, let's go ahead and get cracking. I'm gonna show you how to take this wheel off. First thing you wanna do before taking off your steering wheel, you wanna go straight to the back side, and there's gonna be a little cover that sits right there. I don't know if you guys can see that little cover right there. You wanna take that cover off and there's gonna be a T30 socket. It looks kind of like a star. This is actually what that little bit looks like. It's gonna look something like that. Um, so what I do is I go ahead and grab this and grab the bit. And what I do is I go ahead and just insert that right on there like that. Makes it super simple. And then I go ahead and grab my impact and I just put it in like that oh now we're gonna use that to get that baby out so let's get it first thing I'm gonna do is of course I took out the seat as you guys can see and what I'm gonna do next is of course grab my little mini screwdriver that we have right here and um, we're gonna go ahead and pop these little caps off of the side of the steering wheel that I just showed you just like that Oh, just like that. Once those caps are off, that's when the T30 drill bit comes in uh, into play. Oh shit, wrong bit. <laughs> okay guys, so bump what I was just talking about, um, about this little drill bit here. Now it's the right size, it's a T30, but I forgot that the screws that are on the inside are safety screws. So I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get out of the light here. Um, it has a safety screw on inside of it. And um, you have to have a bit that has a hole in the middle. I mean, as you can see, this bit here doesn't have a hole in the middle. So luckily, I did have a little kit, like a little cheap kit that I got a long time ago. I don't even remember where I got it. And I had a bunch of little things in there. And I was able to find a T30 bit that looks like that. And look at that. See that hole in the middle? That's what you're looking for. You need a T30 with a hole in the middle. Um, I don't know if this goes for all the Zs, but... It is a safety thing. You are taking off an airbag, so I totally understand why you would have a special tool for it, but it is a T30 with a hole in the middle. So let's go ahead and get this thing out. Put a lot of Loctite on these. Um, as you can see, they put a lot of blue Loctite on those. Um, so it is a little tough getting out, but we got them out, which is good. Now, our airbag should come straight out, just like that. Then you're gonna have a wire harness that, that's inside of there that you're gonna take out. You're gonna take out those two connectors right there outside of the airbag, and then there is a 19 millimeter bolt, as you guys can see there, that you're gonna have to get off. All right, guys, and when you get to this section of taking off the steering wheel, make sure you do take this little clip out. It's clipped right into there. Um, just take that out and then you can go ahead and get cranking on your 19 bolt. All right, so I got Old Faithful here. <laughs> you can't go wrong with this 1,200 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, so I just got a little 19 millimeter socket, impact socket, and uh, go ahead and get that bolt right on off. 
Just as simple as that. Got that bolt off. And uh, the next thing you want to do here, I'll show you here. Next thing you want to do is actually take this bolt, wind it back onto the threads just a little bit. Um, Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the sides of the steering wheel to get it seated off of the, uh, the hub that it's actually on. So let's go ahead and get that shaken off, get that going. Came down here and pulled really hard and that loosened up our steering wheel, which is great. Now you can go ahead and take off your 19 millimeter bolt. Sorry, I'm doing this in low light. Usually um, I do it in, in some really good lighting, but the uh, it's dark outside, so I'm stuck here with doing this in my garage. But just like that, steering wheel comes off. We just gotta take those little wires out and uh, feed them out through the back. And uh, we can go ahead and get installed with our hub. So since I'm not gonna actually be running airbags at all, or a horn, considering this is a race car, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually tuck my wires for now. I'm not gonna cut them, I just don't feel safe cutting them right now. Um, in case I need to use it for something. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tuck them behind. Now the hub does have a little dot on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, that little dot right there. That has to line up with that little line that you see right there. Sorry, the camera's not focusing, but there's a little line right on the top of there. You wanna focus that dot right on top of that line. Just like that. And uh, go ahead and get your 19 millimeter bolt put it on there. Like I said, I'm gonna be tucking my wires. Um, I'm not gonna have them come up through there. I'm gonna tuck my wires backwards and just keep them, kind of just zip tie them off somewhere. Um, and we'll pretty much go from there. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing on and then we'll get the steering wheel on and see what the final product looks like. And just like that, we got the steering wheel installed. Looking beautiful, like damn. I gotta get this seat in here to see kind of like what it looks like. One eternity later. Sheesh, guys, we got a little bit of a dilemma. This shit is too clean. As you guys already know, it is the next day. That dark garage just wasn't doing it. Sheesh, got the bride seat in there, got the steering wheel, still got the cover on there. Damn, that thing is beautiful. Yeah, and then like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck those wires underneath, but um, we're, we're still figuring it all out. But that is looking fire. Look at it from the backside. Sheesh. This thing's coming together. It ain't even close to being done yet. Super clean, and then all this blue is gonna be black, and then we're gonna have a nice cage inside of here. Um, and uh, yeah, y'all, that is the install for the steering wheel. Energy Shore Hub on there looking really good, really nice. Everything's flush and uh, have no issues. That is gonna wrap it up for the video, guys. Super stoked with how everything came out. Love the process, the progress that we're getting done with the car. Things are coming out really nice. It is definitely a lot of work. We getting it done, baby. We making sure we're hitting the, we're gonna hit the strip, we're gonna hit the track, whatever, the street, anything possible. I will see you guys in the next video. Next video is gonna detail of taking out all that sound deadening and uh, getting our speaker trim or speaker box or whatever it is. Yeah, we're getting that all out of there. So with that being said, y'all, I will see y'all in the next video. Let's get it.